My name is Colleen Curl, and I'm involved in scouting in a couple of different ways. I am a mother of both a Boy Scout and a Cub Scout, and I'm also a leader for the Weeblos troop in which my younger son is a Weeblo Scout. And I've been involved in scouting since Garrett, my older son, actually joined as a Tiger Scout uh, when he was in first grade. And both my husband and I have been involved in scouting since, since he joined. Great. So it's been a number of years. On February 28th of 2009, Garrett was uh, camping in central Wisconsin, a little bit north of Portage, and the boys were sledding. It was a nice afternoon. Mm -hmm and uh, they'd been uh, sledding for several hours and the leaders had decided it was time to um, end that activity and go back to the cabin they were staying in and start a fire for dinner and they the leaders had called last run down the hill mm -hmm. and three of the boys loaded into the sled that they had been using for um, for this activity and as they were headed down the hill they hit an icy patch and the sled capsized and the boys fell out. The last boy in the sled fell out and kind of rolled off uninjured. The second boy in the sled injured his mouth and um, started bleeding quite profusely from his mouth. And Garrett, who was in the front of the sled, slid sideways and um, with the side of his body sheared off two 4x4 four four wooden posts and um, was quite injured. Mm -hmm. Seeing all of this, the uh, older boys in the troop immediately ran to uh, both of the injured boys and started to render aid. All of those boys had been had earned their first aid merit badge, and so they had that training to back them up. Mm -hmm. So they assessed the situation, they gathered the other boys, they um, looked at the injuries, called for emergency services, mm -hmm. Um, certainly involved the leaders in this, yeah. and then they started to portage the two injured boys down the hill to meet the awaiting ambulance. At that time, they had no idea how uh, severely Garrett was injured. Mm -hmm. He actually had crushed the ribs on the left side of his body, punctured both of his lungs, and in the process, air was filling in Garrett's um, chest cavity and his lungs were starting to collapse. Mm -hmm. So had it not been for the training that those boys had received and the calm manner that they uh, reacted in, I'm not sure the outcome would have been as positive. He spent uh, 18 days in the hospital, 12 of which were on a respirator, and today he is very active in his troop. He plays football. He's um, completely recovered. And I firmly believe that um, the Boy Scout training that these um, three young men received uh, played a very positive contribution in his recovery. Each year, volunteers across our council reach out and ask parents to participate in the Friends of Scouting campaign. This campaign is designed to raise resources to ensure the values of scouting continue to be accessible to youth across the entire Glacier, Glacier's Edge Council area. The principles are an important life-changing lessons learned by the scouts help to save my son's life. They are taught weekly by thousands of volunteers. If it were not for the skills learned through the scouting program, my son may not be alive today. With the help of more than 4,000 adult volunteers, the Glacier's Edge Council serves over 12,000 youth throughout our traditional and outreach programs in South Central Wisconsin and Northern Illinois. Even with all the grassroots support, you may be interested to know that it actually costs the Council over $150 per youth each year to bring the scouting program to our community. Kids from all over are benefiting from the ideals of scouting and growing into their new leaders Scouting is really the great equalizer. Any child that participates in our program stands a much better chance of defining and reaching their goals. That's why your generous investment is so crucial. You are being asked to show your support and keep scouting strong in our community by becoming a friend of scouting. Your support is vital. By investing in this campaign, it will ensure that we will continue to have quality programs in 2012 and will continue to ensure the values and morals of the Boy Scouts of America will continue in your community. Thanks for your support.